Traverse City State Park on this surprisingly warm New Year's Day to kick off my new series that I'm calling the State Park Challenge. In this series, I plan to visit all 103 state parks right here in the state of Michigan. It's no secret that I love to travel. From Iceland to Japan and the UK, all are wonderful and exciting places that I have had the pleasure to visit. And although they are amazing and beautiful, it is important to remember how lucky I am to live in such a spectacular state. And right at the heart of it all lies the state parks. There are just so many amazing things to see and do, from swimming and museums, natural wonders, and even unexpected things like microbreweries and ghost hunts. They have so many programs and events that they put on just for everyone to enjoy. So I'm challenging myself to visit all of these parks this year, so not only can I show you what they have to offer, but broaden my own horizons. Although geared towards the parks themselves, I will also be showcasing some state campgrounds I stay at along the way, as they are often conveniently attached or nearby to the parks, and make great places to stay during your adventures. A perfect example of this is the park that I am visiting today. Officially known as the Keith J. Charters Traverse City State Park, this is a smaller park sitting on 47 acres and is conveniently located only two miles from downtown Traverse City. The park comprises of mostly 343 campsites, but does have a quarter mile of recreational beach across the road along the bay shore. You may be surprised to know that this park is actually open all year round, and yes, that includes the campground. The campground also offers a modern lodge that can sleep up to 11, as well as a few heated mini cabins that are available as well. The recreational park that lines the Bay Shore features restrooms and even a handicap accessible play area, but mostly people come here for the beach. In the summer we will be revisiting this park, but for today I wanted to kick off this series right here in my local state park. So that's it for Traverse City State Park. If you want more information, I'll leave it in the description down below. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and hit that notification button so it'll come right to you.